Winter break? Who needs breaks? In America, we work till our hearts give out. Literally. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. Winter break is upon us, a time of the year when people hold up and take a breather. But surely there should be more than one time of the year that we take a break, right? Otherwise you start to get a little loony. You wouldn't think that we need time off by looking at the statistics. Americans receive an average of 14 vacation days per year from their employer, and they only took up about 10 of those days last year. That leaves over a half a billion, that's right, billion with a B, vacation hours unused in 2012. Why wouldn't people take their vacation time? This is an absurdity, a tragedy. In a study by Expedia, the most common reason people couldn't get away was because, well, work got in the way. You saw that one coming, didn't you? But it's sort of strange. I mean, it's not like 14 days is some grand break to begin with. Two weeks out of 52? In the European Union, workers are guaranteed at least four weeks of vacation time, and those are paid days, unlike the US. The USA is actually the only country of the 20 most advanced economies in the world that doesn't require workers have paid time off. Paid time off, including holidays in the private sector, averages 16 days, which is less than is required by law in all 19 of the other countries. The fact that many workers don't get paid time off may contribute to the pattern of Americans not taking a vacation. They can't afford to take time off work or they feel like it's not really worth it. No pay while you're away and you also have to pay out-of-pocket expenses to take a vacation. Effectively, vacation could cost two to three times as much. Amongst the kindest countries toward vacationing are France, Spain, Belgium, New Zealand, and Germany. But Austria and Portugal come out on top. Both guarantee five weeks in paid vacations and holidays, the most in the world. Austrian workers, however, work even fewer hours than the Portuguese, and they have almost double the labor productivity and GDP per capita. That said, the US has even higher labor productivity, which some might use as an argument for never taking a vacation. The problem is that France and Germany, two other countries with 30 plus days off, have comparable labor outcomes to the US. The other problem with that argument is, of course, that vacation is friggin' awesome. As the number of hours that we work goes up and up and up, it's important to take a step back and remember to live our lives, man. You aren't getting any younger. And vacationing has been linked with a number of positive effects. The obvious being breaking the stress cycle, which allows us to relax and renew, rejuvenating motivation and creativity. Stress is a sneaky one. It's a lot harder on the body than it might seem. Stress relief is vital to a good quality of life. A new study has also found that traveling is linked to a decreased risk of heart disease, heart attacks, and depression. All of this and more is why pretty much every country in the developed world makes sure that its people can take a break. After all, happy workers are productive workers. So, America, when are you gonna get with the program? Thanks for joining me for DNews, everyone. How much vacation time do you take every year where you live? Tell me about it down below, and we'll see you next time.